What do you mean, where's all my stuff? The computer stuff. I packed it up because I'm getting ready to getting ready to go in the morning, man. This is it. It's the next morning. It's time to get up and get rolling. But before I do, I got to jump in, head over to Planet Fitness right quick, get in a half an hour, and then make it over to the truck. How you doing? Alright. Alright now. Hey you too. That is it for PF Planet Fitness. You know what I'm saying? Went in there, got my half an hour in, got a nice little sweat going. Coming back out here in the cold. Now I'm about to head back. Now I gotta, I gotta head back over to the house. Family just came back. I think, I think they just came back from, uh, from the movies. Y'all, y'all went to see Star Wars. So, what do, what do you think? What do, you, what do you think of Star Wars, Sean? It's pretty good. There are a lot of cinematographers. There's a lot of camera work inside that movie that is fantastic. My son happens to be a media major, so anything that's that's pertaining to camera and camera work amazes him. So <laughs> now as far as as far as getting things for Christmas for him, he's a hard person to get for Christmas, man few things that I got done this past weekend. I got uh got my son something. Well, I didn't give him something. I gave him a gift certificate. That's about it. I gave the uh band to the band uh the Pandora to the missus. She enjoyed it that. And then I treated myself to some hats. Lots of hats. Um I got like a picture frame. And then I got this boy fits that I'm talking to you guys on. The iPhone 6. This uh this this holiday season, man, is this was a good holiday season. It was a good holiday season. See, I'm not into I'm not much into gift giving. You know what I'm saying? I I I give 365 days a year. This holiday season is about family. You know what I'm saying? And as long as my family is healthy and we're together on the holidays, that's all I care about. That's all I care about. What's up? Yeah, I had to change phones. I had to change phones. You see how much clear and crisp the video is now, guys? I know y'all like that a lot better because that iPhone joint, the, 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 the self-portrait camera on that joint, no, nah, not all hot, not all hot. But like I said, it's right here. And as you can see, I got it as my iPod. Because like I said, this got all my songs on here, man. See, I never put it on my cell phone and I don't understand why I don't put it on my main phone, but the iPod joint on here is a beautiful thing. My nose ready? I like it because it's my iPod joint. You see all that? You see all these songs I got on here, man? Look, just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. I mean, it's so it's so much songs in here that I even forgot that I had some of these joints on here. I got everything from old school to new school and some beyond, except for that new school shit that's out now. That that. That's what's wrong right now. Everybody trying to rap the same style with the, uh, I don't know who created it, if it was Future or Migos, but all them niggas sound the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I said, nigga had me in the studio one night trying to do that shit. I'm like, man, cut this shit off. I'm not feeling none of them type of rappers, man. I'm not feeling none of them, uh, none of them raps, man. Not feeling it. 
So, as you can see, I am back in the truck and it is snowing. It is cold. It is, it is wait. Over here dropping stuff. I couldn't, but I, it's so cold that in my fingers is buttery, man. But anyway, look, 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 man. Look what I'm telling you. Look at what I'm telling you. It is 13 degrees out here, man. It is, it is not hot. I'm, I hope you guys had a good Christmas with your family. I know I did. Um, I had a very good Christmas, so I am very happy to spend time with my family. Now, I wanted to tell you guys about what happened in the first year of me getting into trucking. So, what happened was, in the first year, I stayed out throughout the holidays. With the exception of Thanksgiving, but I wasn't home Christmas and I wasn't home New Year. During that time, when I rode, when I drove through the holidays, like Easter, what's another? I, I, I consider Easter as a major holiday. So Easter, uh, Christmas, and New Year's, I sat. You know what I'm saying? I got a load that that was supposed to keep me running, but instead, it 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 ran to a a place that was that wasn't open on the holiday. So I called them up and I asked them and I said, hey, can I go ahead and drop this at the yard? You know what I'm saying? Maybe one of the local guys could go and drop it. Nah, can't do that. You gotta, you gotta wait until uh, the next day in order to drop it. Well, what's the point of me running the holidays if I'm not running? The holidays, I'm sitting doing the 34 at a truck stop, which I could be doing the 34 at the house. Well, you got the mind, you, you, you know, they trying to, they trying to downplay it and all like that. And it wasn't no downplaying about it. So I was like, you know what? I, I'm not doing this next year. You know what I'm saying? You guys can't keep me running through the holiday. Then I don't want to run the holiday. Take a key from that. You know, in the first year, it's, it's going to be rough and it's gonna be it's gonna be rough and tough in the first year. Eat it up, eat it up in the first year. The second year, the second, third, and where however many years you you working, uh-uh. You go home for the holidays. Take that time off and spend with your family instead of spending it out on the road. Because during the holidays, freight is slow. <laughs> So, I make it all the way out here to Napoleon at the Campbell spot. Now, you guys is wondering why at the gate. Well, this is the reason why. The guy came over, looked in the back, and says, your trailer's not clean. I said, it's not clean? What do you mean it's not clean? It's, it's cleaned enough, right? So, he said that after today, or starting today, Campbell's want the trucks absolutely, or the trailers, absolutely clean. And I'm like, well, what exactly is absolutely clean? Do they want it washed out or what? And I'm like, I'm looking at the trailer like, there's only, I gotta get off the property and, Go to a truck stop 
to sweep out the tray. Okay. So dude, like, you know where the nearest truck stop is? Like, dude, the nearest truck stop is like 45 minutes. Got it all swept out, got it clean, no smells, no nothing, no sticks, no seals, no nothing. Now, since I got that done, hopefully it's good enough for him. Got back there, did the sweep. Let's hope that it's good enough for them. I gotta get on this road, man. Ain't, ain't no time to be wasting because I gotta stop over at another truck stop just to get some fuel. Campbell's already ate up my time that I wanted to use to get something to eat because I haven't ate all day. So now I'm using my time to get something to eat. All this time wasting is, is eating up my clock and it's not nice. We are done. All right, it's time to get on this road, man. I got six hours to drive and about 11 hours to get there will probably add an extra hour because I can't take the uh, I can't take the uh, toll road so basically what we're about to do is we about to go around the toll road which is going to add maybe about a half an hour to 45 minutes to this trip right here hold your mask down hey. who told you come around who did that trap sound trap. Zama, clothes Go. fashion What's up? That is what's up. I don't like being pulled over, but being a truck driver, you you know you you're gonna get you're gonna get random stops. So come walking outside like, oh this uh this is a random level three paperwork inspection, and I'm like, oh okay. But anyway. That's how it work out, people. Just come in, hand them your paperwork, make sure everything's together, and you'll be back out on the road in an instant. Look at that. It is negative two out here. You see that? Negative two? Negative two, man. Yeah. Truckers out here. Always want to show you the, the good side of trucking. They don't never, they don't never want to show you the ugly side. They don't want to, they don't, they don't never want to show you the side that you got to actually get out and do some work. Let me uh, show you right quick. See this right here? Yeah, they don't want to show you the ugly side. Yeah, they don't want to show you the ugly side. The ugly side is when you got to get out here and 
get up under the trailer and hit these fucking brakes because they fucking frozen. Ah, look at this shit. Ah. See what I'm saying? They don't want to. They don't want to show you doing this shit. I'm gonna show you doing this shit. They don't wanna show you getting out, getting on this cold ass ground, hitting these fucking trailer brakes. There we go! There we go! Know what I'm saying? They don't wanna show you this out here, right? I got it. Unstuck. You know what I'm saying? So here's a tip that I should have, that you know what, I should have, somebody gave me this tip a long time ago, and I should have, and I should have uh, followed it to this day. But when it get cold like this, and, and the weather gets like this, don't set your trailer brakes. Keep your, keep your celebrates, your trailer brakes released. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, they're going to freeze up. Look at that, man. Hey, look at that. Whew. Man, it's like below two out here, man. But I'm telling you, don't set your trailer brakes because they will get frozen. And when they freeze up, you got to get out there and do some work. You know, like I said before, respect the truck driver. We do work out here, you know. We do more than just sit on our asses and drive the truck all day we do work respect the truck driver man that's what i'm talking about respect the truck driver you know respect is a lot that these drivers don't get man we we don't get we don't get the respect that 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 we're due man i mean considering everything that we do out here and everything that we go through, you know, we we just don't get the we just don't get the respect that's 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 deserved out here. And we really do need it because if it's if it wasn't for us truck drivers, you know, you consumers out there wouldn't wouldn't have what you what you have right now. You would not be enjoying the kind of life that you have right now if it wasn't for us truck drivers if it wasn't for us sacrificing for you and some of you guys don't understand that you don't understand the type of sacrifices that we do out here for you living out here on the road dealing with certain I mean dealing with different types of attitudes different types of people Going from one part of the country to the other, you know, dealing with with rude drivers, you know, and it's not just the four wheelers. It's you truckers out there too. You know what I'm saying? You guys are are some of the worst out there, you know, and you're the main one that be demanding respect, but you don't give none back. You know, back in the day, it used to be unity back in the day amongst us truck drivers. We would get on the CBs and we say, good buddy, 10-4, how you doing? Ain't no more of that. You hear on the CBs, it's garbage. Truckers just being assholes out there. You, you guys are asking for respect. I'm asking for respect. You know what I'm saying? Should get the respect that we all deserve, okay? You see a truck driver in trouble, help him out. Now you four wheelers out there, you see a truck driver that's trying to get over or trying or trying to merge over or something like that, let him over. Don't be an asshole and just keep riding on the side of you, the side of him, and you see our blinkers on. And you see that we're trying to get over, but yet you're 
you're dogging us from not doing that. Why? You're not going no faster. You know what I'm saying? You're not going no faster than what I am. If that's the case, speed up a little bit so I can get over. You you asking you asking me to to hit you. And why? Why are you asking me to hit you? So that so that these 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 billboard lawyers out here could could get you paid because there's a lot of them. You know, I, I ride past a lot of them. Got hit by a truck today? Call me up and I'll get you paid. What kind of respect is that? You know what I'm saying? What, what you're trying to do is is put us out of business. If if you do that, then you you won't enjoy the type of life that we bring you. Everything is brought by trucks, cars, houses, goods, everything. A truck brought it. A truck picked it up from a train and brought it to you. Brought it to these to these places that you love to go to. You love to go to Best Buy. You love to go to Home Depot. You love to go to Love's. I mean Lowe's. How do you think that stuff get there? Come on now. Give us the respect that we that we deserve. We deserve respect out here. You know what I'm saying? We deserve it. We sacrifice for you. You know, we come out, we come out in this weather, in this weather right here. Rain, sleet, snow, sun. We come out here and bear all of this to bring what you want to you. We do that. We do that every day. We we sleep in a truck. These bunks ain't 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 big, and the room back there ain't ain't huge. You know, I can imagine what team drivers go through. Us, but that's the sacrifice that we do out here. Yeah, it's money to be made out here. Not as much as it was back in the day. You know what I'm saying? A lot of government hassles. A lot of a lot of things changes. Now we got standards. We got we got fifty thousand to sixty thousand. That's standard for a truck driver. Maybe more, depending on what that truck driver is willing to do. You know what I'm saying? If if that truck driver is willing to do what other truck drivers don't, then yeah, he's gonna make the money. If if you don't, if truck drivers don't want to come out here and run in the snow, truck drivers don't want to run hazmat, don't want to run heavy haul, and that other truck that other truck driver do, he's gonna get paid. You got you got truck drivers out here that only wants to go home every day. Yeah, those truck drivers get paid, but not as much as a truck driver that's that wants to stay out here, you know what I'm saying? That wants to do the, the heavy haul, the hazmat. Those are the ones that's gonna get paid. Those are the ones that should get the most respect. Those are the ones that goes up through the mountains and and ice roads in dangerous situation. Those are the ones that's gonna get paid. So yeah, money is to be made out here, guys. Don't 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 get me wrong on that. But in order to make this kind of money, we got to make that kind of sacrifice. I overheard a guy at a, at a truck stop I was at, and he goes, oh man, these, these truckers, they don't do shit. They don't do nothing but sit on their ass and drive all day. That's all they do. That's why, they, that's why they're fat, lazy, and overweight. I, I said to myself, okay, now a little bit of that I can agree with, you know, a lot of that I don't. Yeah, some of us tend to lose, I mean, tend to lose focus on our weight. Because you're right, we do sit in the truck all day. Lazy? I tend not think that we're lazy. We're not lazy. Because if we're not lazy, we, we would not be focused on what we're doing out here. That's not being lazy. You know what I'm saying? 
Being lazy is is not running your clock right. We don't just sit and drive all day. We don't do that. We try to make sure that we get to a, to appointments. Appointments that that are sometimes ridiculous. We got a ridiculous appointment times. We got we got windows this small right here. That's how much of a window that we got to get your goods to you. Which makes it impossible sometimes. Sometimes. So no, we don't just sit on our asses and drive all day. We get up. We gotta we gotta slide tandems. We gotta make well I'm a reefer driver, so I gotta make sure that that the reefer is set properly. If that reefer don't work or don't turn on or goes out, then guess what? That that cold product that I'm that I'm bringing to you isn't going to be no good and it's going to make it worse for me because I got to sit here all day waiting for them to just say that we can't take the product and then I got to find somewhere to drop the trailer and then go and pick up my nest load. There's a lot of sacrifices we do out here for you. We do it for you. You know, but you tend not to give us no respect on the roads in life. You tend not to give us the respect that we deserve because of what we do for you. We're giving up, we're giving up our social life to bring you the products that you want. This past, how was your Christmas? Ask that. How, how was your Christmas? How was your past Christmas? It was wonderful. It was great. You got what you want. You, you enjoyed your Christmas with your family? You enjoyed that food that you got? You enjoyed the presents that you gave to your kids and everybody? How do you think that stuff got to the stores? Sacrifices got that stuff to the stores. How do you think that stuff got there? We brought it. We sacrificed our holidays. Our holidays, because a lot of truck drivers can't take the holiday off. I mean, imagine if every last truck driver in the world took a holi took that holiday off. It will probably come to a standstill. You got you got plate you got you got stores going in like, oh well, we're still waiting for that shipment. We're still waiting for that truck driver to bring our shipment. That's what we do. That's the that's the respect that we should get because we're getting it there for you. Respect the truck driver. I should put that on a t-shirt. Respect the truck driver, man. That's what I'm talking about. Respect the truck driver. Respect what we do out here. What the sacrifices we do out here for you what we go through. Once we enter this lifestyle, and this is a lifestyle, everything changes, all right? I, I don't get no regular sleep. Not, not when you got deliveries at three, four o'clock in the morning. You gotta sleep during the day. You gotta get your sleep in. You got 10 hours. You only got 10 hours of rest. They only give you 10 hours to rest. 11 hours to drive and 14 hours to work. 14 hours to work. Now, mind you, we don't get paid. We don't get paid hourly. So, out of that 14, about three, four of those hours is free. We, get, we, we gotta give these shippers, we gotta give these shippers and receivers two hours free of our time. We're not paid. We're, we're sitting in the truck. The only time we get paid is after the, if they keep us longer than two hours. But two hours is already gone. You see what I'm saying? Respect us, truck drivers. That's, that's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for much. I'm not asking for a lot. I'm just asking for a little, a little bit of respect thank us for, for what we do, for the sacrifices that we do. 
instead of trying to cut us off in the road and at the same time giving us the finger really giving us the finger now you know a lot of, a lot of people man you you guys out there kill me mm. and you guys kill me man you gonna you you gonna you is gonna cut me off and then give me the finger while you doing it. Respect the truck driver. That's all I'm asking. I'm not asking for much. I'm asking for respect across the board. Four wheelers, truck drivers, socialites, everybody. Respect the truck driver. Okay? That's all I ask for. I'm not asking for much. I'm not starting no drama because this is a no drama channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I'm just giving my opinion and my facts about what's going on out here and what we go through. Well, not even we, me, what I go through as a truck driver, as what I have experienced. Bad drivers, bad attitudes, bad shippers, bad receivers. Even the even the even the yard guys respect the truck driver. It's all you gotta do. And if we can and if we can do that, if we can do that, if we can respect the truck driver, then life will go a lot more better on these roads out here. On these interstates out here. You feel me? It will go a lot better out on these interstates. Y'all hear me, right? Right? If everybody will respect one another on these interstates, it will be a lot better. Probably might be a lot less accidents that happen. But I don't know. Maybe. I mean, if we all respect one another out on these roads, I, I really do think that it will be a lot less accidents out here. Watch your man, then you should watch your mouth. Bitches is pressed, and minister mouth to mouth. You see the stats? You know what I am about? I am the champ, I'm Iron Mike in the bout. Attention, I'ma need you to face front. You don't want smoke with me, this is a lace blunt. Raps Jackie Chan, we ain't pulling them fake stunts. My crown won't fit on your bum ass lace front. Uh. Hold up. Change of plans. Next stop, Groveport. Let's get it. I had to stop over here at the Loves right quick. Reset my hours. Now I got six hours to get to Ohio, which I will be there in about an hour and a half. But I have another place to go to that will take me about another hour and a half to get there too. And then it'll be about another hour before I get home. Here at Columbus terminal well no this is not the terminal my bad my bad this is marketplace got the trailer i am done almost i thought i was going to be done and about to run straight to the house but unfortunately i got a change of plan am i going to get something extra for this maybe i don't know a couple of it's a couple of more miles that's going to start on my new week which is which is always good next week's paycheck is definitely not going to be all that hot but i am going to go in grind mode next year next month and forever on you know what i'm saying the the holidays really tapped your boy out made it over to the spot i don't know if you guys can see the trailer but that's the trailer that i gotta get right there I appreciate you guys coming along with me and hanging out. 
making sure that uh, I get home. You guys know what to do already. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all the views, all the love, all the support. Whatever you guys do to uh, make this channel great. You guys, the subscribers are the best subscribers out here. You guys have a very new year, even though this video won't be posted until afterwards. But anyway, you guys have a happy new year.